Hey there guys, it's Kim here from YourChicGeek.com and I want to welcome you to this quick little video tutorial to show you how to crank out a really attractive ebook cover using Canva. Um, no design skills required. We're essentially just going to be basically, um, uh, how many leads did I just say there? <laughs> essentially going to be basically, okay guys, sorry. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how to whip up a, a really, you know, a really nice ebook cover using one of Canva's templates. Um, we're just going to change some colors around and things like that. And uh, again, just wanted to show you guys and gals how easy it is to do this, okay? So what we're going to do is where it says under create a design is we're going to go over to where it says ebook cover and we're going to click on that. And that is going to bring up all of the different ebook covers that Canva has available. Now, I do want to state that whenever you are looking for ebooks, uh, ebook covers that you want to use maybe in one of your designs, you do want to make sure that as you're looking through these templates that you, you know, you're looking at something that you can use basically for free unless you want to pay for the cover. Now, the, um, the ones with free, the ones that are free or the ebook cover templates that are free are going to have that tag underneath them and then everything else, it means that it's a paid, there's something on that that you have to pay for, okay? So let's go ahead and start the search. And as soon as I find something, I'm just going to pop it over into the um, the workspace so we can start cracking, you know, crack a lacking and and getting some and just basically changing up the design. But um, I guys really pretty much use Canva for everything. Um, <laughs> I, I use it to create all of my images. I use Canva to create workbooks. It, I mean, you know, my email opt ins. This is a one stop shop for me. It just really makes design super easy and, um, you know, you don't have to start from scratch. Like that's the, the beauty of using this tool. You really don't have to start from scratch. And so I'm just going to look for a cover. I actually do like this one, but um, you know what? Yeah, maybe we can use this one. I'm going to go ahead and use this one as an example. Okay. Now, the first thing that I do want to do is I am going to change the yellow and the blue and all of that because it's not it's not my brand's colors right so I want to definitely change that so um, actually you know what I don't think yeah I think this is gonna be a little bit tricky guys I'm gonna keep going here because I don't see where you can change the light blue and I wanted to just kinda keep this quick so to show you how easy this is easy peasy okay we're looking we're looking and just the you know for me I'm a very um, when I put things together it's just really simple sometimes it's too simple but I just like things that look really clean and neat you know I, I don't really like to do too much to stuff I just think you know the cleaner the better so something like this, that's okay, but nah. Let me keep going. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is all right. Okay, I want to see if I see anything else. That's okay. And what I ate today, yeah, I don't really like that one. See, this is super cute. So you see, this is <laughs> it's super neat super neat okay I'm not seeing anything that is speaking to me let me go back up and let's see okay so here's one but that's not free okay guys let me just hurry up and pick something just to whip something up together it's just to whip something up for you to show you it is a business okay so here's a here's a cover that looks like it's pretty easy to transform okay so what we're gonna do is we're essentially gonna get rid of the big a and the z and we'll keep this here and we'll keep that there okay the next thing that i'm gonna do is because again i am whenever i I'm designing covers I have a specific scheme or color scheme that I like to apply but for the sake of time I'm gonna just use 
the colors in my brand's color scheme, okay? So I'm gonna go here where it says background color, and I'm gonna click the plus, and I'm gonna enter in my hexadecimal code, okay? Hopefully you know your hexadecimal codes, okay guys? All right, so the next thing that I wanna do is I am gonna get rid of this. I don't really want this here, okay? Keep this at the bottom. Okay, so what I absolutely love is over here to the left, <clears throat> excuse me, um, over here to the left is a bunch of pre-made um, fonts that you can apply to your designs. So instead of starting from scratch, if you struggle with font pairing and you're not sure what fonts to use, all you need to do, guys, is come over here to the left and just find fonts that really inspire you. So for example, for this design, I really do like this font pair. This is like three fonts, but I really like the way that this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and click to select this. And then I'm going to drag this to make it bigger. Okay. And then I'll probably bring this down a little bit more. Actually, I'll bring it to the top. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and do what's called ungroup because right now the grouped text is all moving around. So, for example, if you didn't want to use maybe this font, which I am going to remove this. So maybe I didn't want to remove, want to use the, this font at the top. Well, what you can do is you can come up to the top over here and click ungroup, okay? And then you can click the fonts that you don't want to use in your designs, and then you can just hit the little trash can and it's gone, okay? So you saw that? All right, cool. So I'm going to do, basically give this a little title, how to design You know, and I'll do this how to design stunning ebooks. And then I'll do, nope, actually, ebooks with. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight this text and I'm going to bring this down to maybe a, let's see, a 58, something like that. Okay. Yep. So how to design stunning ebooks Canva. Now this is currently at a what a 334, which is too small. So maybe we can increase this to maybe a 534. There we go. So maybe something like that, right? And then here I would just probably do something like, you know, four. DIYers or something. I don't really know, guys. I'm kind of going off the cuff. Okay. And then um, one last thing that I would probably do to kind of um, make make the book stand out a little bit more is um, I would actually copy this by highlighting it, and then I would drag it up here, and maybe drag it across or something. Let's see how this looks. And then I'm going to go to. Let's see here. Where is it? Where is the arrange? I don't want to link. I want to bring this forward. What happened to that? I don't see where you can bring this forward, which, boo. Okay, well, it looks like we're not going to be able to do what I thought we were going to be able to do. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, well. That sucks. So anyways, what I wanted to do was I was going to basically do the same thing that that they have down here with this design, right? Was to basically highlight some of the text and um, bring it forward. But what I am going to do instead is for the line spacing, I'm going to change the line height a little bit. I think it's, you know, it's a little much or it was too tight at the top. All right. So how to design ebooks with Canva for DIYers. And I really wanted to, let me see something here. Let me go to shapes. So I'm going to click on, on shapes. And then let me see here. And I'm going to change the... I'm going to change the outside of the line color from the white to black. I'm going to click on the gray because I want to change that to black as well. 
And now, what have they done? Position. There we go. <laughs> okay. So did you see what I did, guys? Okay, they changed things around a lot. This is Canva 2.0. So when I did, what I did was I basically just drug over the rectangular shape, pop that over here because I kind of want to get this kind of vibe going at the top This as the same as what's down here. So I drug that over. I'm going to, I put that on top of the text and I'm going to click on position and I'm going to send it backward. Okay. And let me see, that should have worked. There we go. Okay. So it's not down. Yep, I saw what I did. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to make this text white. And I need to decrease this. <laughs> because it looks a little cray-cray right now. Okay, yeah. So I think that looks okay. And I could get crazy crazy with things and do something like this or something, but I'm not going to do that. I'll leave it as is. So how to design stunning ebooks with Canva. Um, this could, could, you know, I would definitely doctor this up a little bit more. Um, but the last thing that I probably would do to the design to kind of, um, actually, let me take this off. And I'm going to change this back to black. And guys, bear with me, but this is what I do all the time when I am designing things. I mean, for real, for real. Okay, so I could actually do this on this part. And I'm going to change this to black. I'm going to change the gray part to black. I'm going to position backward. And I'm going to change Canva to white. Ah, that does look better. Yay, I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, so <laughs> essentially what I did was, and I'm going to bring this, this down a little bit more. So instead of 534, maybe we'll do a 514. So you see what I did, guys? I just basically brought this down a little bit more so that it fits a little bit better inside of this. Actually, and then what I'm going to do too is I'm going to stretch this all the way across. So maybe I'll look, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it looks a little bit better. Um, I think the text, and this is what you can do to just kind of play around with your designs until you get a good feel, you know, until you find something that you're really happy with, okay? So how to design eBooks with Canva for DIYers. And then what you can do, of course, you want to make sure you put your name and then I always like to put my website at the bottom too, okay? So I'm just going to go over here to the text. I'm going to put a little bit of body of text. And it's super small because this image is really big. So to enlarge this, lim this image so you can kind of see what's going on, you would just click on this little button at the bottom with the zoom. Oh, not 75. Let's do 50. Okay, there we go. It looks better, okay? And so this text is super small, it's microscopic. So I'm gonna bring this to about a 21. And then I'll just put my website's name at the bottom here. Actually, this is way too small. Okay, so this is Babis New. So I would do Times New Roman down here just to kind of keep things consistent with the fonts. Okay, and then Actually, yep, that's fine. And then I would change the spacing. So it's too tight, so I would just kind of expand this a little bit more. And that's it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce the zoom back to 25. Now, if you really wanted to get super duper funky with this, guys, then you could just do things like go over to Elements. Um, you can go to Graphics. Okay, not graphics, but let's go to, let's see, all. And let me get out of here. I'm just going to go to elements, and then I'm going to find um, some illustrations. I like doing little icons and things like that on my ebooks. I don't know. So maybe if I wanted to add, um, this has nothing to do with designs, but maybe if I wanted to find like ebooks or something like that. Not ebooks, but books. 
So maybe I wanted to find um, a book illustration or like a book image that I can add to kind of spice this up. Then what you can do is just come up here in Canva and you can type in what it is that you're looking for. So maybe you're designing an ebook cover, you know, to teach people how to do gardening. Well, you can just come up to the top and type in gardening. So anyways, really quickly. So for example, if I wanted to um, add this right here to the cover, right? All you have to do is just pop that over and then you can just take this and you can just kind of, you know, figure out where you want to add it. Something like that. Okay. And there you go. Oops, I didn't mean to pin that. <laughs> and then up here, you can kind of do things like, for example, this pin button is getting in my way. So you could do things, for example, like um, once you click on this, you can flip this. You know, you can flip it vertical. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can do, guys, with Canva. Then you can, this button, then you can do something like, for example, um, maybe you want to make this image more transparent. So you didn't want it to show up as much. Then what you can do is come over to the transparency feature and you can fade it into the background. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like I had to sing there, but yeah. So just some things, you know, again, just trying to show you guys just, you know, some of the things that you can do. Um, again, with me, I am not a non I'm, I'm not, I am a non-designer, guys. I have never designed anything, you know, really before in my life from scratch. Um, like I said, Canva, that looks really good. Canva has been very helpful to me, and um, I just appreciate, you know, Melanie and the team for creating such a great you know, resource for, you know, DIYers like myself, because again, I don't like using, I love, Photoshop has its place and I have to use it for certain things, but man, when it comes to cranking out something that looks good in like minutes versus like struggling for hours, I just Canva all day. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, just how easy it is. I mean, you don't have to, to me, the, the best designs to me are super clean. They don't, you know, excuse me, it's not a lot going on. They look really professional. They look really great, but it's just super clean stuff. You know, you don't have to do too much. So anyways, this is how you, you know, you can crank crank together and put together a really nice looking ebook cover that you can use for maybe a free opt-in that you're giving away. Or if you want to take things a step further and spend more time and getting more intricate with your designs, you can definitely do that too. But I just wanted to show you guys an example of, you know, what you can do in Canva, like really quickly. So once you're finished and you've designed your ebook cover the way that you want, you know, and it looks the way you want it to look and you're happy with it, all you have to do is come over to download, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and click download. And instead of downloading this as a PNG file, which is an image file, I'm going to download it as a PDF. And then I can just click download. Okay. And that's it. And so I wanted to just show you guys like, you know, what you can do with Canva and um, how easy it is to use it. And this is essentially, guys, what the cover looks like. I'm going to reduce this a little bit. And this is what it looks like. It's really simple, nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. And yeah, that's it. So again, just wanted to show you guys how to take a um, template in Canva, how you can transform it. I have done way more advanced and much prettier designs than this in Canva. But right now, for the sake of time, I just wanted to, again, to show you guys uh, the possibilities, okay? So go out there, have fun, crank out some beautiful eBooks with Canva. If you do want more advanced training on how to put together eBooks, how to do the interior formatting, you know, all of that kinds of stuff, you can definitely head over to check out Elegant eBooks. It is a workshop that I offer, so you can click below to find more, find out more about that. But uh, thank you guys so much for hanging around and sticking with me through this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it <laughs> and learn something. So um, I'll see you guys around as I do plan on cranking out way more tutorials um, about, you know, with different tech tools and things like that that I use for business growth. So thank you guys so much and cheers. Have fun with Canva, guys. Bye.